Good morning. Welcome, God's people. You reached Waiting for the One, Grace Podcast. Scriptures read daily from New Living Translation Bible, along with daily greetings, requests for happy birthdays, births, anniversary, other prayer requests, poems, and more. Let us begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, let your word resonate and penetrate in us and give us faith, love, hope, health, wisdom we ask in faith, strength, and all we need for today. Amen. Psalm 91 is a protection prayer, and the recommendation is reading or hearing it one to two times daily. First scripture of the day is John fourteen twenty-seven to 31. I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart, and the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. Remember what I told you. I am going away, but I will come back to you again. If you really loved me, you would be happy that I am going to the Father who is greater than I am. I have told you these things before they happen, so that when they do happen, you will believe. I don't have much more time to talk to you, because the ruler of this world approaches. He has no power over me, but I will do what the Father requires of me, so that the world will know that I love the Father. Come, let's be going. The next scripture is Philippians 2, 16 to 18. Hold firmly to the word of life. Then, on the day of Christ's return, I will be proud that I did not run the race in vain and that my work was not useless. But I will rejoice even if I lose my life, pouring it out like a liquid offering to God, just like your faithful service is an offering to God. And I want all of you to share that joy. Yes, you should rejoice, and I will share your joy. The next scripture is Philippians 4, 3-7 and 13. And I ask you, my true partner, to help these two women, for they worked hard with me in telling others the good news. They worked along with Clement and the rest of my co-workers, whose names are written in the book of life. Always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again. Rejoice. Let everyone see that you are considerate in all you do. Remember, The Lord is coming soon. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. The next scripture is Hebrews 11, 1 and 5 to 8. And it is the last scripture of the day. Faith is the confidence that what we hope for will actually happen. It gives us assurance about things we cannot see. It was by faith that Enoch was taken up to heaven without dying. He disappeared because God took him. For before he was taken up, he was known as a person who pleased God. And it is impossible to please God without faith. 
Anyone who wants to come to him must believe that God exists and that he rewards those who sincerely seek him. It was by faith that Noah built a large boat to save his family from the flood. He obeyed God, who warned him about things that had never happened before. By his faith, Noah condemned the rest of the world, and he received the righteousness that comes by faith. It was by faith that Abraham obeyed when God called him to leave home and go to another land that God would give him as his inheritance. He went without knowing where he was going. Now we have suggestive reading for today. John 14, 1 to 31. Philippians 2, 1 to 30. Philippians 4, 1 to 23. Hebrews 11, 1 to 40. The Star Scriptures represent the chapters that Jesus is speaking in. Today's category imagery, titled We Are Each a Rose in God's Heavenly Garden, will be found on part two of the same title. Today we have one birthday request and it is to Jill from Fernando and Lori. Have a God-blessed birthday today and always. Now we have a birthday prayer request. Let us begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless Jill today on her birthday. Pour in many blessings that overfill and run into every area of her life. We ask this through Jesus' broken body and through Jesus' bloodshed. In Christ Jesus' name, amen. Thank you to all our listeners. We look forward to you listening in part two imagery. We are each a rose in God's heavenly garden, category imagery. And we look forward to you listening in tomorrow. Tomorrow's category is imagery, and the title is The Thoughts of Two Horses in the Presence of Jesus. All requests, messages, announcements that want to be podcasted October 24th to November 6th, the last day to have them in, is September 26. Send an email to wishingwell142 at gmail.com. When sending your messages, announcements, requests, Please put attention, W-F-T-O, dash, and then state the type of request that you are wanting to get podcasted. An example, attention, W-F-T-O, dash, announcement of a birth of our, ch- our new child. Then from there, you will receive an email back to confirm that we received it. And as well, then we will send you some questions 
for processing so that we process your request the way you want, if you want it podcasted or if you wanted it silent or private. Thank you. If you are interested in becoming part of our community prayer team, email, send an email to wishingwell142 at gmail.com. Then put attention WFTO dash prayer team slash prayer warrior dash join. Have a God blessed, fantastic Friday for yourselves and your families. Amen.